We all know that kids like playing with dolls. Whether it be Barbie, Bratz, Strawberry Shortcake, or Cabbage Patch Kids, or any other type of thing like that. Hell, even the boys, they got their action figures. Nothing new. Something's been going on for literally decades, if not centuries. And I'm sure there's little wood-carved dolls from the 1500s that made just this kid just light up and joy whenever they get to play with it. Like, ooh, so boring, but doll now, wood doll. Yeah. So it's a trend that's continued on for, I'm sure, centuries. But lately, there's been a little bit of a fuss over a newer doll that's come around. And I'm not the first person to talk about it, but my manager got on my case, said, Hey, I want you to do this since you've got the followers. And yeah, my daughter just found one of these. Yeah, if you see the title, you probably already guessed by now. LOL Dolls. Personally, I'd never heard what the hell a LOL doll was until she told me. And pointed out the fact that one of her LOL Dolls had a little tiny pecker on it. Yep, that is right. A little dolly with a, an anatomically correct little human peepee. -pee. Not exactly something you want little Timmy or little Susan to be playing with at the ripe young age of five. That sounds like the kind of shit they put in to middle school sex ed going, this part does this, this part does that. And this isn't exactly my regular reaction video, obviously. I really didn't know how the hell I was going to record this, but eh, we're going to go forward full steam anyways. And if we crash into an iceberg, oh well, I'm going down with the ship. So let's see exactly what the hell these are. So, LOL dolls. Obviously, they have anatomically correct parts, as I said. Or at least an attempt to. They're ugly as hell anyway, so I don't know how you can call anything that looks like that to begin with anatomically correct. But hey, these are probably the people that watch Steven Universe. Another thing that I've discovered about them, literally just looked up an article before I started recording, was apparently parents started noticing something was up whenever they dipped some of these dolls, little plastic toys in water, and all of a sudden there'd be outlines to make it look like they were had on underwear. But not just any underwear, lingerie looking shit. Yes, with prominent nipples and everything. Yeah, not something you want little Susie to be able to see. Wait, Susie, what did you learn about that crap? He's in my dolly. Get that away, you ain't having that one. <laughs> yeah, you know some kids were confused because they didn't understand what degeneracy was being stolen from them. And yes, I say degeneracy because these kids are all of a sudden going to start asking questions that a parents might not be too comfortable answering at such a young age. And I wouldn't be either. And apparently, this was kind of the intent, according to one of the people in charge of making them. I don't remember if it was the CEO or what, but this person specifically said something along the lines of, yeah, we want kids to start learning about stuff like that, but you wait till they're in middle school, when they have a mind to understand the differences, when they're already in the mindset, there's differences. Yeah, how's about let's not have little five-year-olds, little Timmy and little Susie probing each other's parts saying, Oh, does yours look like on the LOL doll? No? How about that one? Do you have underwear that looks like that? No. What? Obviously, I'm extremely late to this particular party. There's already been people who bitched about it, and I don't exactly have anything concrete to add to it. Just... Uh, manager slash friend asked me to do it, and I said, okay, it's a video idea. So here I am talking about it. Although I think I finally understand where the hell the cuties director got her idea from. Think about it for a minute. LOL dolls have been out since what, 2016, 2017? And apparently the underlying message is to get people to start asking questions about the human body at a younger age. Sounds a little similar, doesn't it? And defended that decision. Sounds a bit familiar. I think I understand where the hell the cuties director got the idea. Oh, let's take this concept a step further. Let's bring attention to the fact that there's child exploitation and everything while exploiting children. Just as the LOL doll creators are exploiting the fact that kids like dolls to try to say, Hey, look, there's little Johnny. He's got a little birdie. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I don't exactly, every time, if I'm getting an action figure, I don't want to pull off the armor and all of a sudden have a giant bulge facing my way. No, thank you. And I get that Barbies has got the boobles to show on all of them, but guess what? There's nothing overly defined, they're just kind of lumps of plastic, smoothed over lumps of plastic that have no definition to them, no nips, no nothing. 
And that booty, no, that booty does not go down. It just slides over. Nothing explicit in any of that. It's just very, very bare. So yeah, obviously the concept of dolls and stuff like this has existed for years. In fact, many ancient civilizations would make little statues of what they believed to be their gods with anatomically correct parts. Shit you not, they had fertility god statues with the boob, the big old booty, and all that. I don't understand it. But obviously things were different back then. People believed in what, whatever the hell they wanted to. Just look back to the ancient Greeks. They believed all their gods were on a hill that they didn't even bother climbing. I don't even know why I went on the tangent about the gods, like the Greek god stuff. So it's just like something to add to this video to pad it out, make it even longer so I can exploit the fact that maybe I can put an ad at the beginning and the ending of the video. Who knows, maybe this video will blow up. Probably won't. It's very different from what I normally do. There's going to be a crap ton of cuts in here, and you will notice them. Yeah, this video is probably going to really end up being around five, six minutes long. I don't know why I'm mentioning that, but again, adding out the video. Okay, I probably better stop that before somebody gets annoyed and just says, Hey, that doesn't add to anything. You'd be right. I still wouldn't care. This light is very bright. I've never done this particular way before with the halo light, but I could see how it would just burn into my soul. I probably better wrap this video up, but yeah, the little dolls idea, they're ugly to begin with, but the idea behind them, I guess, is just really kind of stupid. Excuse the fact that I tried to sound like a moist critical ripoff in this particular video, I just didn't really know another way of going about doing this thing, so. By the way, if you haven't, go check out Charlie on Penguin Zero. He's got some funny commentary on things, and he uh, obviously is a much better master at this kind of commentary than I. Plugging somebody's not even my own channel. But anyways, I guess that's just going to wrap things up here. I really don't have anything else to say that'll add. So it's just better to end it on a high note. There, there's your high note.